Hello lovelies, it is mock season started whether you've got them now before Christmas or whether you've got them after Christmas so you've got longer to stress about them. Anyway, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about how not to stress about mocks. Exams are stressful. This this part of the school year from now until your actual exams at the end is stressful. There's no real way we can get around that. But there are lots of things you can do to help with the stress of mocks. Now, the first thing to remember is that they are mock exams. These are not your real exams. And as awful as this may actually sound, getting things wrong in your mock exam is a good Thing. bear with me okay just bear with me I know you're not going to believe me on this because if you get something wrong in your mock exam you know that you don't know it so you can go and revise it you can either go and watch my videos or watch one of the free quizzes on my website to, to revise it and then look up the answers so it's good that you get things wrong yep I know um because it shows you what you need to revise and what you need to work on if you come out of your mock exam with a hundred percent that doesn't actually tell you anywhere that you need to improve and it might give you a little bit of like overconfidence um, and you think that you don't need to revise anything else but if you get like a whole question wrong on something you know you need to go and work on that area whether it's going to be the subject content of that area or whether it's going to be your exam technique around that area like is it a six mark question that you just didn't understand the command words for or did you get all of the, the the answers right or just put it in such a bad way that you're not actually going to gain any marks for it because there is a whole load of exam technique that does come into play here so first thing to remember when we're talking about mock exams is that they are just mock exams they are important it is important that you advise for them um, because any revision you do now will be useful for your real exams so don't think i'm telling you you don't have to revise for them but if you come out and look at your grade at the end or your feedback from your teacher and think this is absolutely disastrous, it is not disastrous. It is not. Because anything you get wrong now, anything your teacher tells you you need to work on can be improved for the future. These are not your real exams. This mock grade isn't definitely going to be what you come out with at the end. So don't let the grades that you get for your mocks dishearten you too much. Now, if you haven't actually got your grade yet and you're still in the point of revising for it, little and often is the way to go. If you want to spend five hours revising for your mock exam, and that's a completely random number. I'm not telling you if you spend five hours revising, you're going to pass. That's just a completely random number. You can do it five hours the day before, staying up really late, um, not going to bed till two o'clock in the morning, to revise your exam that's at nine o'clock the next month. You could do that. That is one option that you could do. It is not the option that I'm going to suggest is the best way to get your grades. You could spend half an hour every day for, you know, in between now and the exam until it adds up to five hours. You could spend half an hour every other day. You could spend 20 minutes adding up to five hours of revision for that exam. Little and often is best. Your brain is going to appreciate it a lot more than spending five hours block revising, stressing yourself out, staying up late at night. So having good revision technique is a really, really big part of de-stressing for the exam. So first of all, put things in context. These are just mocks. You can use these to improve. And then revise a little and often so that you're not really, really stressed out. Do kind of like 20 minutes of multiple choice questions. All of these are absolutely free on my website. And then the next day, once you've done those multiple choice questions, you can take what you've done and maybe do 20 minutes of an extended response answer. So put it into a little bit of writing. Or you can go and spend 20 minutes finding some examples and copying down the examples into your textbooks. Or spend 20 minutes doing flashcards. So don't just revise in one way. Mix it up. Take the same block of information that you need to learn and present it in lots of different ways. So in an essay, in multiple choice questions, if you want to make a mind map, if you want to do flashcards, make some notes from a video about it. Don't just do the same thing with the same block of information for a solid five hours and think that it's going to go in. Take the information you need to learn and put it into your brain in lots and lots and lots of different ways 
so that it's less stressful for you because doing the same thing over and over again is really, really dull. And if it didn't go in the first time, it might not go in the second time or third time. Put it in your brain in lots of different ways so it's much easier to absorb the information. I know loads of people think that you have to create everything from scratch for your exams, but you don't have to. On my website, there are loads of free flashcards you can go and download and use those. I know my own situation is this type of people at the moment, which is why I've got loads of courses on my website, absolutely free for you to go and use to help you revise all of the stuff that you need to know. When you are revising, make sure you've got a, a desk. I know my desk is a really bad example because I've got loads of books and stuff and Lego piled on top of it. But try and have a clear area with not many distractions and set yourself a time limit for it. I strongly suggest doing a 20 minutes or revision and then having a little break which is why in my whole to week videos I put in little mental health break to force you to go out and do something else as opposed to just sit there and watch the video the whole way through. You need to make sure your revision is active so doing questions, making notes, making flashcards, losing the flashcards that you have made, all of these are really really great things to be doing. If you're watching any of my videos you can watch the first part that has the question pop up and then Pause it and see if you can work through all of the answers even faster than I do. So guys, I know this time of year is really, really stressful for you. I know exams can seem horrendous, how exams can seem awful, but mock exams are an opportunity to find out the bits that you need to improve on and hopefully we can use them as good revision for the actual exams which are coming up soon and doing good revision now, getting into good revision habits now will make your exams much less stressful in the future. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like to explain scratches.